Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks and welcome to part 2 of Skyrim Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim no less, on the Xbox One X. And this is pre-Xbox One X enhancements. We're taking a look at it, just how well it plays before the enhancements arrive. I will be continuing once the enhancements are released so we can see the difference. And we have two quests at the moment. One is to go on the Golden Claw trip up the mountain and the other is to go to Whiterun. Speak to the Jarl. I've decided to go to the Jarl first, and then we'll teleport back to Riverwood and head up the mountain later. Although I do seem to be going up a mountain. Ooh, hello. Well, that went well. Need the leather. Yeah, that's actually going to take us up the mountain, isn't it? I think what we need to be doing is going over this way. Can see white run from here. In the distance there. Look how beautiful it looks. This is the distance stuff that you noticed from last gen, isn't it? It's like, you know, if that was Fallout, I'd be looking a lot more busy than that. But, you know, we'll forgive it because of its age. As we get closer, it'll become a lot nicer. It still looks a hell of a lot better than it did on the last gen, of course. Discover a few things on the way here. Uh, that's a giant. I'm pretty sure that activates a... Oh, hello. I didn't want to do that. What you doing? Do a new save, I think, for this episode. They do seem to be fighting the fella. Let's, uh... Oh, okay. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. What? I've just got you. God, blimey. Some people are so stroppy. You didn't look like you needed the help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. All that's right, whatever. I'm here with my shield brothers. What is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Seem reasonable. Her arm is pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? I was going to say cute there. <laughs> Just caught a little bit of skin through there as I was talking to you all. Take your plants. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker if you're worth anything in a fight. Sure, okay. Uh, let's just have a quick run around these. Oh, hello. Get a few things discovered on our way here. <laughs> Love the little insects dancing around and stuff, it's awesome. I can hear a Nimroot. Told you. I mean, much like Fallout, it is panning absolutely beautifully. It's not struggling with anything. So, you know, in general terms, you would get some sort of stickiness where all that cloud's moving and everything. There's just none of it. None of it. I'm now managing to get my videos rendering at the 30 frames per second smoothness. Whereas before they were 25, unbeknownst to me when I was doing it for so long. 
So you should that should be relaying to you how smooth this is. Chill for O Farm. Battleborn Farm. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Uh okay. Need something? This was as stupid as our feud with Clan G Need something? Unlike I have le <laughs> I have leaks to sell you. Yeah. Uh, have to work then. Just solder our own leaks. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. What was that? Nine? My brother John's Honest pay for honest work. I'll see you. <laughs> That's the easiest ten gold you'll ever make. I mean, you've got me started now. I assume she'll buy that off me as well. Oh, hello. That's quite good. I don't think I've ever done that before, playing this game. I've played a lot of this game. Uh, is there anything else up that way? I don't think so. Every time the sprint button's on the bumper. I've just been playing Fallout, which is why I'm now confused about what sprint. My brother John had that. Honest pay for honest work. Obsessed with gourds in Bethesda. Honest pay for honest work. <laughs> hey, bit of farming, eh? Make a bit of coin. I mean, can you imagine what... I mean, this game is beautiful, but if you look at Fallout 4 and then think, well, what is the next Elder Scrolls going to look like? It's just going to look amazing, isn't it? Amazing. I mean, certainly the character models and everything are going to be so much better. As well. Oh, hello. Can we jump that, do you think? Nearly. <laughs> Not quite. Tell you what, I could get in here actually. There's a nicer boat. If I've got enough coin. Everything's for sale, my friend. Just could wander around this land just forever. I could live in this land actually. <laughs> I could live in this world. So peaceful. Let's go back to living like this, people. Apart from we only have power for consoles. <laughs> Everything else is like this. Eh? What? I'm confused. Uh, why am I confused? That's not where I'm meant to be going. What? <laughs> What's going on? There's usually guys there, isn't there, that you speak to and they go, okay, but behave yourself, blah, blah, blah. Is it the time of day? Is there something weird happening? Okay, let's try something. Let's try something. I've never had to do that before, I don't think. <clears throat> Maybe the guards have gone to sleep. Hey, there so we go. Let's close with the dragons about. Official business only. Uh, Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. 
I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Will this change your mind? 72 gold. <laughs> Stand aside or else. Uh, let's try... I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Not even leveled up yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not not quite seven seconds to get in and out of White Run. We'll pay Compared to about what an, must have more sixty seconds. <laughs> um, before we go and see the Yarl. No, Steve, where are you going? Seriously. Do you know, I played this game for so long before I realised that this shop was here. The Drunken Huntsman, which is all about the bow and arrows. Hello, my friend. Hello, my Argonian friend. In the market for some hunting supplies. Well, uh, nice of you to recognise the fact that I am a lizard, and my name is Lazargo. Why the name Drunken Huntsman? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. Hey, hey. After those were the nights. We went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Uh, who should I talk to for work? Try Holder. The innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. What do you have for sale, my friend? Sure, huh? I've got just what you need. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Hunting bow. Imperial bow, that's eight, that's ten. We've only got 180 shiny gold at the moment. Because you pick them up for fun as well later, don't you? Well, I'll tell you what, let's... Uh... I'll come back because we might get some more coin. I'll come back and get the other bow. It's good to head out with a decent bow. In fact, I could talk to this woman because she gives us something to do. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. I, that I do. I've got to if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. I'll do it. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I will once I've got some more coin. And some things to trade. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those birds comes here. I'll be ready. I mean, even here with people moving around and everything, it just doesn't blink an eye at panning around. At the general good store. I know you work for Bellathor at the general good score, and I know that that's all you're ever going to say to me every time I pass you in the street. I 
can't afford it. It took me weeks. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. What are you arguing about? Sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Seems reasonable. I'd like to train in one-handed weapons. Uh, I can teach you a few things. Not for gold, no. Might do it later. No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common, then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Hmm. <laughs> it's quite nice it threw that line in. Please, bring it to me. Saying, oh, looks like we've got that in common then. Recognizing that I'm a. Uh... It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Well, I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the Grey Mane's yard. And me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for birds' eggs. But I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me and then I get in trouble. Until you better next give time. me five. Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. Or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. No, please! <laughs> I really don't have any money, Girls, Grace. dogs, I'll elders. give you ten septums There's tomorrow. Nobody Just don't hit fight. me. <laughs> Whoop. Lost me bearings, people. I've gone the wrong way. Left edge. And I'll tell you what I was looking for. I was looking for the... Temple, that's it. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Thank you. The pain is already easing. Oh, the fever. My body burns. Hmm? I thought there was a woman in here that you spoke to. So great. Can't see her. We should come back another time. Is that quest about Nettlebane, is it, or something? Here you stand, talking to a married woman. Why? Yeah. Am I that interesting? Or perhaps... <laughs> For we are one! Here you are. You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward! Oh yes, he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. Are you worried you'll be arrested? Uh, let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips, his voice in my throat. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom. Okay, you bore me now. There's a rift here in Skyrim. Can't neither magic nor a passion of time. Show you the power of Talos, Storm Crown. Actually, we're going to see the Isle first. I think you can get another quest of the werewolf quest is in that other building, I think. What would you 
have to do that. Nothing? My lord, please. What's the meaning this of this interruption? Jarl Balgrat is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Alright, put your sword away. Angry one. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? I did. Yes, I had a great view while Imperials were trying to cut off my head. <laughs> the dragon destroyed Helgen and last I saw it was heading this way. The Imperials were about to execute Ulfric Stormcloak when the dragons attacked. Uh, yes, heading this way. Why, Ismir Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarn. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. I did. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. I thought there might be. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Very well. Before we get there, I'm going to say to him, I am not here to talk about the ongoing hostilities. Just saying. Just putting it out there. Even in here it was a bit sticky before and it's not now. Look at that. Lab late. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Seems reasonable. All right, where am I going? What am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No yep. Need for tedious hows and whys. I like nope. that. Leave those details to your betters. Am I right? Yep. I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow, a dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Uh, anything you can tell me about Bleak Fall Barrow? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. Yeah, I've been there. Sure nice. Some locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. And how do you know this stone tablet is in Bleak Falls Barrow? We must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. Which I don't at the moment, but thank you. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. 
Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlords. So, were all the dragons killed in the Dragon War? Oh no. Many were killed, of course. But many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. Um, are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure. I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Yeah, I thought she might. I'll deliver the frost sorts for you. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial. Ah, I think so, yes. Uh, where can I learn more about magic? Perspective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Uh, do you owe allegiance to the period? Uh, what are the duties of the court wizard? Have you encountered any dragons? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf, one I once did. You never what know. A fascinating conversation that would be. All right, let's do it. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. The clarity of that map is awesome. You'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Right. I think everybody's happy. All right, we can go. We need to find the blacksmith lady's father. He was there and now isn't. Where is he? Aren't you the ones that were arguing outside? Could be different people. He might be upstairs, or he might be through there. I think he's upstairs, isn't he? For goodness sake, why can't they just stand still? They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King. With his voice, shouted him apart. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to go in these places yet. <laughs> I'm assuming he must be around here, because... Need supplies? See Belafour at his store. Sleazy little man, but he has good stock. Right, okay, I'll tell you what we can do, though. Before this gets rather tedious, people. Use our okay, enchant our find Armin's family sword, deliver the sword, speak to the leader, visit the college, went hold, join the... Oh, right. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's it there. Deliver family sword. Yeah, well that didn't help us at all, because it's not on the map. <laughs> What's through there? <laughs> the great porch where they held the dragon, is it? Wow, check that out. That's him there, I can see him at the top. I think this is ex this is where they held the dragon, I think, isn't it? If I remember rightly. I serve Jarl Balgrub. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. I have a sword for you from your daughter. Adrian? Ah, 
This must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please. You're welcome. Take these few coins for services rendered. Ooh, nice. Enjoy your vi divines bless you. May I'm looking for work. Quake as you pass. Any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Uh, why? Tell me about the city's districts. What's the city's history? Now, we'll leave that There's for now. Let's read that thing though, because it'll probably give us a quest. Standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to <laughs> He said, All this standing around is rubbish. I want to lift weights. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Right, well, we can get on our way now with a bit of a quest. We'll just drop these salts off to the lady in the. What's it called? Alchemists? Or whatever she's uh, called her shop. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an... Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. You're looking to become a merchant? Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. I'll get you one. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Let's do it. Farewell. The rest's all information, I think. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I mean, I didn't see this play on the original Xbox, but I'm pretty sure it didn't play as smoothly as this. I mean, this is feels smoother than the PlayStation Pro. They say there's nothing a Nord woman can do which puts her mind to it. Beautiful. We are the uh, could try and trigger this lot in here as well, I suppose. Uh, and in fact, no, we won't. We'll we'll get out and do some stuff. Can always come back and trigger all that stuff off later. Well, i tell you what I always do forget to do, just while we're here. Because I always forget about this dude up here. There's another blacksmith. He's the best blacksmith in the universe. According to all of them. Got a lot of steel to share. All in grey main. Quite a forge you've got here. Skyforge? Aye, my clan fathers have worked it since the first grey mains came to Whiterun. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use for good reason. Tell me about you. Blind boy, I'm a blacksmith. <laughs> uh, what have we got for sale? Who are the companions? Are you thick or just too new to know better? The companions are the oldest, most honored band of warriors in Skyrim. White one was built around their horn, Yorvaska. Don't reckon they could use you. But stranger things have happened. Are you a companion? Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge steel is my art and honor. The companions need the best, so they come to me. Anything special for sale, my friend? Hunting bow. Oh, actually, we can afford the hunting bow. From him? It's cheaper from him. What the heck? Steel arrows. Yeah, I'll take one of them off your hands then. Thanks, dude. Although, hang on, I might as well save you my other one. Mm -hmm. 
What? I can just take that helmet. Let's save it first, just in case I can't. <laughs> Although we're not going to wear those, though, are we? We're going to stick with the leathers, I think. Armourer. Nice. Ooh, people. That was nearly our first level up. If I take that, can I sell it to him? <laughs> Why is all this free? Got a lot of steel to shape. Gods be praised. <laughs> Just sell his stuff back to him. Nice, here we go. That was worth it. Don't know why I'm still carrying that around. Yep. Nice, well that was worth it just to get leveled up. Let's do it. Well now, it's all about the sword and the magics. And I think we're going to do... Oh, stamina we've already got. 125 of, so I think I might do a bit of magics. Cast novice level destruction spells for half magicka. That's a given, isn't it? It's going to help us out no end, that is. Very nice. Lazardo Argonian. Can that be my last name as well as my race? Lazardo Argonian. Right, well, that's good. Can use the old fire and sparks for half the magic and out. Arcadia's cauldron. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. You look rather pale. Could be a taxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. I have some frost salts for you from Farangar. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Oh. I'll test it on Farangar first. <laughs> oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, yes, please. Here, these potions should suffice. Very nice, thank you. Uh, potion of illusion and enhanced stamina. Uh, what have you got for sale? Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Because I'm going to sell you back two of the potions that I don't want you just gave me. Invisibility I'll keep, because there's a few quests where you need to go... In well, it helps to go invisible. 20 seconds of it. Uh, enhanced stamina. Illusion. Uh, yeah, I'll do. Come back Good. If you need a remedy. Good doing business with you. That's the wrong door, Stephen. <laughs> it's good doing business with you. Allow me to walk into your closet. Uh... What's this? Our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. Bits and baubles for sale. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Now who's that? I can tell you new around here asking a question like that. My husband, Eorland, tends the Skyforge. Hey, it's his wife, yeah. The companion's mead hall. The name gave it away. There's no finer Seeking smith. your son chose his side in a house for Grey Mane or Battleborn. Uh, what? You got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Greymane or Battleborn? I don't know what you're asking. New in town, huh? White Rose yep. got two clans, both old and both respected. 
Difference is, the Grey Mains turned their There's Lando Calrissian behind him, look. <laughs> stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Grey Main or Battleborn? Uh, I'm not picking. Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. No, I don't. Long live the Empire. I'm the Dragonborn. I don't need to do anything. Old friend. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Oh, yeah. No. Let's not get into it, people. <laughs> that conversation is going nowhere. Right. Let us get on with it, shall we? What time are we on? Blimey. It's another one of those games where time just vanishes. All right, we've got plenty of time to get something done here. Let's, uh... What quest are we on? Uh... Miscellaneous. Kill the bandit leader located in Valheim Kleep. Valheim Kleep. I can't say it, people. Valheim Keep. <laughs> that was the one for the Jarl, maybe? Bring the Mammoth Tusk. And the family sword could be the same thing, right enough, but. I can't afford to send anyone else. We don't know where. Pretty sure the family sword one's pretty close by. I'll tell you something else we haven't done. Hunting bow. We're not overly blessed with arrows, are we? Haven't done much in the way of anything, though, to be fair. That music, though. Have a little bit of third person time, shall we? I think Argonians can... Is it breathe underwater and possibly meet a poison or something like that? Oh, hello. Uh, which is which here? Let's look at the map. Find the family sword is behind us and... Valheim Towers is there. So... Oh, really? So that was... Sorry, I was facing the wrong way. So that's the family sword one, is it? Yes. We'll do that one first. I think we'll do a couple... Well, one or two small ones here with the time we have left. And then in the third part, which I may well do quite swiftly because I'm having a good time. I'm not sure. You should be able to bring the... Nah, stop it. Yeah, there we go. You can bring them further in, can't you? But when you go into standard mode, you get really big then. I don't know, many people didn't realise that. If you hold down the right stick and then pull back on the left stick, you can zoom in and out of the character. Quite far as well. Well, that's a giant over there. So how do we get there without fighting the giant? Just be quiet, I guess. White run looks gorgeous in the night time. That looks stodgy as hell over there. The lake is glowing. Was an imroot though. Nern root, sorry, not an imroot. Close enough. 
pretty sure there's bandits up there as well. Oh, you know what? I'm getting so, so impressed with this Xbox One X that I'm struggling to get back onto the PlayStation 4 Pro. Not that there's anything wrong with it, I'm just loving being on this X. It is some machine. Oh, hello. Going the wrong way. I will kill you with my axe. Getting close, people. Redoran's retreat. Here we go. In fact, we'll have a solid good save out here, I think. In we go. Let's get some action in. Posted up the first part of Fallout 4 today. Then recorded a second part of Fallout 4 on the X. And recorded two of these. Making progress. After a week of not much posting up because I was enjoying the X. Oh, hello. Oh. Hehe. <laughs> Can't hit me from there, dude. Ooh, he's dead. Time to start piling up the dag the arrows. Take the daggers actually. Cabbages. It's all the little things at the beginning. God bless the quick save button. It just keeps it flowing, doesn't it? Eh? God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I had half my health left. I thought I had plenty in that. Oh dear, take a potion next time, Stephen. Should we try that again, people? It's a good job I saved it. God bless the quick save. There's somebody walking around. This better.
Did we get his buddy then? He must have gone down early. There we go. Right, just do this now because it'll help our increase our power. Treasure map, no less. Leg of goat, is it? Uh, can you cook stuff in this game? Can't remember. Yeah, you must be able to, surely. Cook food that restores your health, blah. There you go. I only did it because I thought it might have been a trophy or something for it. <laughs> well, geez. Bloody hell, search every barrel. Search every barrel. Roll out the barrels. Well, we'll take the battle axe. You never know. Might sell it. It's all coin. Why not? Let's just take it all. We'll go back to White Run soon enough anyway with these two quests done. Pondering Giant. Right. Well, that leaves two markers again. One of which is to take the sword back, and the other is to clear out bandits. I <laughs> love that lizard hand. Good point actually. I thought you pretty much went there and then had to join the Oh I can't remember now. Oh Jesus I'm going. <laughs> Kick him in the face. Because that's that tower there, that's where you fight the first dragon, I think. Go on then. Oh, caught him on the attack there, didn't I? Nice one. Let's see what we got. Well. We do Magicka again, that balances out with the stamina. Cast Apprentice level destruction spells for half Magicka. Uh, well, 
Where's the fire one? Shock spells do 25% more damage. Frost spells do 25% more damage. Fire spells do 25% more damage. That's the one, isn't it? But, we can't do it yet. We need 30. So that's okay. So, and we need 25 for that, and we need 20 for that. So that's fine. So that's fine. It's pushing us to do other stuff. Cast novice level of resistance. Yeah, so healing is... Yeah, we're not struggling with that so much. I think what we'll do is we'll get a bit of the old one-handed zin. One-handed weapons do 20% more damage. Seems reasonable. Those do 20 Yeah, so that might be the next one to do, mightn't it? Curiously, let's just have a look at the quests, because... Retrieve the Golden Claw, retrieve the Dragonstone. Oh, right. A map of the ancient dragon burial sites. He hopes this will help him understand and why dragons are returning to Tamriel. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just had some recollection that almost the first thing you did when you got to White Run was come back out here, meet up with them, and stop fighting a dragon. But. Because she, he told her to go to Riverwood, didn't he? So, it mustn't be yet. Every time. It's going to curse me in this game because of Fallout, doing it at the same time. I'm not even seeing any load-ins when I'm running. Well, maybe a little bit, but not very noticeable. If you really look for it. Good grief, I think we've gone over an hour, folks. Should we try and squeeze in this clear-out for the alt? Again. Now in Fallout, I'm going to start doing something with the left bumper that I shouldn't be doing. You wait and see. A soldier get nervous walking around with your sword out or something God, like that. Get nervous. With his weapon drawn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> my weapon is tucked away, my friend. Don't you worry. We can, of course, teleport back to White Run when we do this. Thought I heard something. <laughs> Love that kill cam. That moon though, jeez, oh eh. You do get a little bit of blurriness when you pan down like that. But, you know, it's the little things. What the hell? Christ, he caught me off guard. Should have just minded your own business, I wouldn't even have seen you. Sneaky little hobbits is.
Really? Well, there is something up there. And it's where we're going as well, I think. Yeah, maybe not. What? I felt bad there, but she would have attacked me if I hadn't done that. <laughs> Activate Ritual Stone. What does that do? Once a day, those under the sign of the ritual can reanimate nearby corpses and fight for them. Nah, it's fine. I thought this place was closer than it is. I've got two markers and now I'm confused. That's the one. I know where we're going. It's just come back to me now. Giant fire up there. Yeah, pretty sure it's that bridge in it. Let's take him down. Can't see him. There's definitely one in there. I thought there was normally one stood outside. It's a bow off. It's a bow off. He dead. Oh, hello. You little swine, you. Oh, bow off is going to be mine as well. Thank you. <laughs> Dropped his bow. You see that? He dropped it in the river. Can't get it. Well, I'm there now. <laughs> Still got a few more. I'm going to have to go in, though. Let's do this. A trap. Didn't see that. Is 
Are they on the other side? Yeah, they are. Do I have a torch yet, do we? Don't know why I just picked up that butter, but anyway. Getting quite close to our 300, aren't we? It's all first stuff, though. Never know. Might manage to get this finished and get it sold. Let's get across this bridge. Yeah, they're coming for it. I can take it. Yeah, I think I'm going to take him in here, because... I'll do it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to carry all of this. But that's okay. Right, I think. Is that it done? Well, he was the leader, wasn't he? Still a bowman left over the other side. We'll go and get him. Yeah. Then we'll have a little teleport moment. Ah. If I can figure out how to get out of here, that is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's dead. All right. I uh, can carry a little bit more. So let's take... What's, what's going to get us the most money? Fair armor. That'll do. Alright, let's do this. Let's have a quick save. And let's get onto our map. So probably the best thing to do is go to... Yeah, go to Dragon's Reach. And then... Scoot back down to speak to the dude in the middle of the town. <clears throat> if we can find him. Get little prizes as well. Oh, for goodness sakes. Am I allowed to wait in here? I must be able to. Oh, there he is. Oh, he was there. <laughs> May the gods watch over your battles, friend. 
The bandit leader and Veltland Keep is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Hundred gold? What? How can you protect Whiterun from the dragons? With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Farangar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters. Leave me out of your interest, Father. Father says I'm too young to train my sword, so I practice with my fists. Well, that should be done and dealt with. Return the family sword is what we're on, so that's right. Are you, dude? Could you spare a coin? No. I might adopt you later, though. <laughs> I spend a lot of time at the Marcus Jones. The hell is he? Oh, there he is. I see you. You tried mercenary work? You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Yep. Thank you. Here. My father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Nice. All right, right good then. stuff. Hello. Need a blade? We should talk to Adrian at the forge. Right, we've got loads of stuff to sell. And I could do it off camera, but why not just do it on camera? You can always stop the video if you want. Got some good pieces out. <laughs> Take a look. And I'm going to sell you... Oh, arrows. Bow... Hunting bow is eight, and the Nord bow is nine. So why am I not using that then? Because it looks stupid. That's why. Ancient Nord bow. Could use that instead, couldn't we? Don't know why I'm using the other one. If that's the case, I could. Uh, might be able to upgrade one and not the other right enough. I'll worry about that later. Right, let's get. Well, we've got two of them anyway, so sell one of them. Sell that, sell those, sell that, sell that. Oh, actually, we could start using a steel sword, though, instead of that, if we upgrade it. So we'll hang on to that for a sec. Probably not get any steel ingots, because I sold them. Iron shield, get rid of that, get rid of that. That. It's clocking up now. Nice. That's the ancient Nord sword as well. She's got eleven on it. It's the same as a standard sword, though, isn't it? So we'll get rid of that, I think. Right. 
Right, so we need from her some ingots to upgrade the... Don't know how many it is. We'll take two. We only need to upgrade the sword. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Oh yeah, we can upgrade the bow to nine. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it's not what I meant to do. Uh, that can upgrade and that's still in it as well. That can go up to ten. So we're better with that really, aren't we? So should we should make that our go-to bow. That's the new sword. Oh. Well, the water... Okay. So they were one and the same, really. Uh... Okay, that's fine. So we can dump the hunting bow and we can dump the axe, really. It's six and a half a dozen with that, though. I don't know why I thought that was going to take me up. Anyway, we'd rather be on the steel front, I suppose. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Your li hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. My father, he's a stoop up at Dragon's Reach. Stop going on the things I want to go on. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. All right, okay. That's why it's blanked out, so we can go up again, but not yet. Seems reasonable. Nice. Now we do have other things to sell, I think, with Bellathor. I think that guy talks to us about stuff as well. Everything's for sale, my friend. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. What you got? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Right, let's just check out the other stuff that we might have picked up. There we go. So we can sell him that and that and... Ah, oh, that was stupid. Can you undo it? <laughs> How do you undo uh, never mind. Okay, we'll take that actually. Uh... Yeah, we can't seem to buy back, can we? Probably don't need the iron ingots so much now. Dump those. Uh, 
Right, I think that'll do. The reason that I didn't want to sell the other items was because uh, you can take them up to the arcane thing and des destroy them to learn their power. Uh, and that lets us regenerate magic of 50% faster, for example. If we learn it, we can then add it to things. But we don't have any soul gems yet, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, we'll keep that because we could enchant it later. Yes, I might do. So, very, very last, but not least, for anyone who hasn't seen the arcane stuff in action, I'll quickly go and destroy that piece of... They can barely tolerate our presence Could have teleported there, of course, but it's much prettier to run. Good grief. This is nearly an hour and a half, this episode, people. An hour and a half. Are you here to talk about the ongoing hostilities? Not yet, my friend. Alright, so we can disenchant and just learn. And it destroys the item, but you learn. There you go. And if we had any soul gems, which we do not, we could enchant something like our arm. Uh, I don't know actually if that gives us anything for armor. I think it does. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. Fortify destruction and magic. Yeah, there you go. So destruction spells. Magicka regenerates ten percent faster. That amount goes up if you've got a grand soul gem or whatever. And if your ability is higher, I think if you're Arcane magic ability is higher. And there you go. But we don't have any soul gems to pick. So we will come out of there. And that's what that's all about. But there's no point buying the damn things. Because we're going to be picking them up for fun once we get into these caves, people. So it's just a case of remembering which ones you've learned. And picking up the mages outfits and stuff. Or weapons. Destroying them. Learning it. And... You only have to learn it once. So there we are, people. A perfect place. A perfect place for Lizardo to finish off part two of Skyrim on the Xbox One X. It has been an honour and a privilege, as always, serving for you in this part of Skyrim. And I will see you all in the next part, folks. Take it easy. Bye.